Hey guys, Sean with Legacy Retakes. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good week. It's almost the end of the week. Um, and I wanted to go over something real quick. Um, I saw a great video on Nava Reptiles. Zach Nava did a great video, um, very ingenious idea with using a clothes hanger, um, basically to use the actual metal part um, to hold the probe for your thermostat in front of your pro panel's um, radiant heat panel. So this is the 125 watt. We got a few of these in, and I needed to figure out how I was going to be able to stack enclosures using the method that he could thought of. So the way he did it, you would have to modify it a little bit, and this is basically the modifications that you would have to make to make it work. Um, so we're gonna get into it. Um, definitely go over and check out Zach's video first. You're gonna need to watch his video to figure out what we're doing here. And this is basically the modifications um, that you're going to have to do from his original way to stack the enclosures. Now you could easily do it the exact same way he's doing it, but you would still have to, to route this. So we're doing it the same way. We're just going to involve a router with it. So stay tuned, let's get into it, and um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Everybody has these sitting around in their house. Um, this is what it is. This is a cheap Walmart clothes hook. I think this is one of my daughters. I just grabbed another one to show you guys. Don't use this one, okay, because you can just, you know, bend it and do whatever you want with it. Um, you know, that, that's real sharp and bendable, obviously, okay? This one is not, you're not going to bend that as easy. Yes, you can bend it, but not as easy. So that's what you're going to want. Now, he's using this hook. Watch the video, like I said. But he's using this hook to hold the probe. Now, I've shaped mine completely differently. So... This is now what it looks like. It's a very weird shape, okay? I've done that to hold the probe, and this is a mechanical bind, a mechanical hold. Um, so if my adhesive ever fails, um, I don't have to worry about this. Now, why am I doing this differently than Zach Nava? Because I'm stacking my enclosures. What's that mean? Well. This can't be sitting on top of the plywood or my enclosures are not going to be level. So I need this recessed into my plywood. So I'm going to be taking a router and making a groove, basically, to contain this so my enclosures will sit level. So I'm going to get the camera turned around. I'm going to show you what tools I'm going to be using. This is a test piece of wood and I'm going to show you basically what shape to cut to have a good mechanical hold. And you guys are going to have to do the measurements for yourself. You're going to have to do this all for yourself. This is just the idea. Okay, so let's get right into it. Get you turned around here. So we've got our piece of wood. This is a test piece. We've got our router. I think this was 55 bucks. We've got a starter bit set. That was like 20 bucks. We've got a couple handheld tools. We've got some lineman pliers, some needle nose. We've got some C-clamps to clamp this down to your working service. We've got our coat hanger, right? I'm not going to bend another one. I don't need it right now. But this is going to be the rough shape. Okay, so if we're looking at it, this was the shape it used to be. I've obviously straightened it out. Okay, done a hard 90. Now, if I rotate this so it's standing up, you can see I've done this shape. Okay, that's important. That's our mechanical hold. Now over here, here's our hole. This is going to be where our hook sits. This is going to give us a spot to run our probe. Don't mind this, this was what I originally thought up. Didn't like it, so we're going with this. Now this is recessed a little more because I've also got a slight mechanical hold there. If you can see, it's bent down just ever so slightly there at the end. That gives it a mechanical hold so it can't be pulled out because another, this is the top of the enclosure. Another enclosure will be sitting on this. So there's no way it can go up and down. It's gonna be epoxied in right here. But there's no way it can go up and down because there's gonna be an enclosure on top of this. 
Okay, now let's get it in there. Now, when it's epoxied in, obviously I can't really let go of it, but it's not going to be able to go forward and backward, really. So if the epoxy fails, your snake is still not going to be able to move this in any way, shape, or form. Now, like, like I said, I'm not going to do a whole video on how to do this. Go over to Zach Nava's video and watch it. He did an in-depth video on it. There's no sense in me doing it. This is his idea. I've modified it just a little bit so you can stack it. It's an ingenious idea. I think you should do it. If you are going to use Pro Heat, you want to do Pro Placement, this is a genius idea. We have these at our house. Why spend more money than you need to on a piece of metal? There's a ball at the end, okay? This is so you can't stab yourself in, in the face at Walmart and, and get $20 million, okay? Cintas doesn't care if you stab yourself in the face with your uniform clothes hooks, okay? These are about worthless for most things other than tying something down with. Um, this is very rigid. Yes, I can bend it. I'm not going to because I'm not going. This is my little girl's. It's a little too small. I'm using adult sized. Uh, the hooks seem to be a little bigger on the adult sized um, clothes hangers. But go check out his video. Figure out what I'm talking about, the pro placement, um, and then apply this basically to his video if you want to stack your enclosures. And there you go. It's an ingenious idea. I wanted to use it. Um, I saw it and I was like, that's absolutely genius. But how can I do it and stack my enclosures? This is what I thought up. Um, Pro Products does send um, like carriage bolts with nuts. Now, you can use that. What you would have to do is use your router again, make a, re a recessed area for your nut to sit. Um, that way, it would still be flat. You could still lay an enclosure on top of this and it wouldn't teeter-totter. Um, you would just have to make a recessed area big enough so you could get a socket on the nut and tighten everything up. Um, you could do it that way. I'm using some pretty expensive... Um, oh, this is the wrong size, but they're pocket hole screws. It came with a... Craig jig and it's for soft wood, pine wood. Um, they grab really great. I've already tested it. You can't pull it off, um, so that's going to work out for me. But if you guys have any questions at all about what I'm doing here, um, shoot me an email at legacyretix at gmail.com. Um, more than happy to answer any questions. If you have them, leave them in the comments below. If you have something real in-depth, you really want something detailed, shoot me an email. I might even do a video on it um, if it's real in-depth. Um, but basically, guys, go watch Zach's video. See what he's doing. If you're going to stack it, this is how I would do it. Like I said, you can um, recess some holes if you want to use their nuts. If not, you can use the, uh, the screw uh, method. Just make sure you're getting something that's long enough that it's going to go through most of your material but not all the way through, so again, you're not running into the issue of uh, your enclosures teeter-tottering or, or basically being one. Um, been making some t-shirts for myself. This is actually a picture of the Motley Annery Possible Het Snow that I got from Garrett. Threw it in an editing app one night and said, what the heck? Um, it's got the Legacy Retakes logo on the back. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I still think it's pretty cool. It looks really cool in person. Um, it's actually really high quality imaging. I was quite impressed. Um, if you guys like stuff like this, let me know. If you guys want this t-shirt, you guys can definitely buy one off of me. Um, just shoot me an email again, legacyretix at gmail.com. I'm not making them. If you guys want them, I'll just make them to order. Um, that goes for any of the t-shirts. But if you guys are interested in these t-shirts, something like this, we'll make more in the future um, with some of these snakes. I know Buttercup, that's the new female that we just got from Nashville, Tennessee um, last weekend. I know she would look really cool on a t-shirt, so we might do something with her. Um, this is Caesar. This is our Great Dane, our two-year-old Great Dane. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys are having a great week. 
hopefully we'll get some more videos pumped out. We'll get these snakes coming. And until next time, have a good one. What? You're getting me all confused. I wasn't expecting a dog. We'll see you guys on the next one.